Hey guys, it's Tyler here, and today I'm super excited to bring to you the first ever episode of Five Star Meals on a One Star Budget, where I show you how to make restaurant quality plates of food right in your home kitchens at a fraction of the cost with a little bit of skill. Today we're gonna to be making a seared bone-in pork chop with mashed cauliflower, broccoli rabe, and a mushroom sage pan sauce. So I was inspired to make this specific dish after visiting several local Connecticut restaurants and noticing they all charged about 23, 24, up to $26 for a bone-in pork chop entree. And today I wanna to show you how cheap and easy it is to make that exact dish. And honestly, probably a little bit better. So this is the first thing I wanna show you. Let's take a look at this. Bone-in center cut pork loin roast, normally $2.99 a pound, which is still pretty good. This is one of my favorite things to cook, by the way. This was on sale for $1.88 a pound for a whopping grand total of $5.25. And this is three bone-in pork chops. So this will make three entrees. And remember, those restaurants are charging $24 for a bone-in pork chop entree. So let's take a look at our mise en place for this recipe. The ingredients you'll need are a bone-in center cut pork loin roast, one bunch of broccoli rabe, one head of cauliflower, a container of chicken stock, a container of sliced mushrooms, one white onion, four tablespoons of butter, a half cup of heavy cream half and half or milk, a few sage leaves, and a few cloves of garlic. So that's gonna put the total cost of the ingredients to make this meal at about $18.25. This is also enough ingredients to make three of these entrees, putting the total cost per entree at a little over $6 per plate. So before you pay $25 for a bone-in pork chop plate next time you're at a restaurant, try this at home first. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our pork cooking. I'm gonna cook this sous vide at 137 degrees for about three to four hours. If you have questions on sous vide cooking, check out my video on that. I'll put the link in the description below. I'm gonna simply season this with Montreal steak seasoning, put it in my bag, put it in the sous vide, and I'll come back to it later. Next, we wanna blanch and shock our broccoli rabe. That way, when we're ready to eat, we can just quickly saute it and plate it up. Now let's prep our onion. So you're actually gonna use half of this onion for the mashed cauliflower and half of this onion for the pan sauce. So with half of this onion, julienne it. And the other half, dice it. With the julienne half, it doesn't really matter because it's gonna get mashed up in the cauliflower. Caramelize those onions off and set them aside. With the diced onions, simply put them in a container and set them aside. Next, we're gonna steam our cauliflower. While the cauliflower is steaming, I like to get my dairy for the mashed cauliflower on the stove. To this, I'm going to add my three tablespoons of butter, some salt or Parmesan cheese if you have it, and some pepper. This you can just keep on the stove on low until you're ready to mash your cauliflower. First, put your steamed cauliflower in the food processor along with your caramelized onion. Blend it with as much of the dairy liquid mixture as you need to desired consistency. One thing I'll say is always go less because there's nothing worse than like soupy mashed cauliflower. You really don't need that much liquid. If you need more liquid and you don't wanna use dairy, add some of the chicken stock. Once the cauliflower is mashed to your liking, I like to store it in a freezer bag. This keeps it warm and makes it really, really easy to plate. Now that our pork loin roast has been in the sous vide for three to four hours, we're gonna take it out and slice those bone-in pork chops. Now you're gonna pat them dry, season them with whatever you want. I'm just gonna use Montreal steak seasoning and we're gonna sear them in a cast iron pan. Now place them aside to rest. Now let's make our pan sauce. First thing you're gonna do is melt some butter in the skillet that you seared your pork chops in. Then we're gonna sweat down our diced onions and sliced mushrooms until they're softened up a bit. Once they're soft, add our diced sage leaves, chicken stock. I like to use just a tablespoon of heavy cream and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. 
Let this reduce down for a little bit and right before serving, you're gonna add two tablespoons of capers just to set that over the edge. Dijon mustard and capers are two things that I recommend always having in your fridge along with some other items which I'll be doing a video on at a later date. Now let's flash our broccoli rabe in a saute pan with some butter, garlic, and we'll finish it with olive oil and we're ready to plate. So the first thing we're gonna do is pipe some of our mashed cauliflower onto our plate. Add our sauteed broccoli rabe. Place our seared pork chop over the top. Drizzle on our pan sauce. And garnish with something green. I'm gonna use chives here. And that's it guys. So for $6, you get this plate of food. And I'm confident it's just as delicious as any of the local restaurants in your area. So please stop paying $25 for bone-in pork chops. I get it, it's convenient. But I promise you this is just as good, if not better. Try it yourself and let me know how it goes. Comment, send me photos, subscribe, cook food.